Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel Mel's Blind Life. Um, the YouTube channel All That Blindness. First of all I'm going to apologise for the bouncy camera. I'm currently walking to my local bus stop and today's video is going to be um, an overnight white cane adventure. I'm going to the city of Wangaratta which is in the far northeast of Victoria for something to do with my um, tape course that I'm currently taking. I'll tell you a bit more about that later. So here's my view in front of me. You can see I've got my cane and I'm using it. Um, I will also explain a little bit later why I'm not bringing Penny with me. Um, but it's a gorgeous morning. I'm just shorelining the nature strip here. So what I'm doing is I've got my cane and I'm running it along the edge of the footpath where the footpath meets the nature strip. And I'm using that to keep me on a relatively straight line. I'm not walking in the middle of the footpath because I tend to weave around a lot when I'm only using my cane. And also this footpath, as you might be able to see, in some places has some really big hedges that stick out uh, on my left. So I've got my cane in my right hand and I'm sure lining the nature strip. So for those of you who don't know how it works in Australia, is we have the fence of the houses, then next to the fence we have the footpath, and running along beside the other side of the footpath is the nature strip and then you have the gutter and um, around that tree the road so um, in the UK it's called a pavement no in the, the UK they call the footpath the pavement and or is it the US that they call it the pavement I think they call it something different again in the UK, but don't quote me on that. But in Australia, the bit where a person walks along the street is called a footpath. So there you go. I'm going to stop filming now and I'll be back in a minute. Hey ladies and gentlemen, I have got my uh, self to the station. You'll probably recognize my background. I do a lot of filming here at Clinton Station. I'm getting the up Swan Hill to Melbourne and then I'm catching a train to Wangaratta. So I'll tell you a bit more about that um, probably later, like I said. Um, so it's a beautiful day actually. Um, today it's a shame I'm going to be spending the next five and a half to six hours on public transport but anyway that's just how it is i'll talk to you guys when the train gets here here comes the train going to bendigo which is the opposite way to where i'm going and that's a velocity of course Too far. Too far. I'm 
I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I can do it. Yep. You right, Mel? Yep. I will be. I'm gonna find the rail. Ah! Big step. Thanks, Nolan. You'll have to go that way. That's the class. Oh, use this door. Just go through those doors. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, nine. Hey guys, I'm on the train. So if you're wondering why I, when I walked into the train and counted backwards from five to nine, <laughs> um, it's because um, the seat numbers um, start at 55. Five, four, three, yeah, they're 55. I go backwards down to um, like 10 I think it is so um, as well as counting backwards so you'll see on the top here they have seat numbers and so I just went and booked seat number 49 um, which is where I'm sitting and I know the layout of the carriage is because I've been travelling on these Anyway, here is my lunch. I've got a hot dog, 
Hello Wayne Garetta. Welcome home. View Motel in Wangaratta. Let's go and see what it's like. We've never actually stayed in Wangaratta. Step. So when I first arrived, the gentleman said, um, he showed me to the room and he said that the bathroom was on the left and that the bed was straight in front. And I said that that was great. Thank you very much. And that I would do the rest of the orientation. So let's have a look in the bathroom first. Line search, starting from my right, we have a sink. And we have, is that a PowerPoint? Yes, a PowerPoint. And quite probably that thing there is a mirror. Some tabs at the sink. Uh, oh, this is soap, maybe, on the wall. reversing in this small space isn't easy. I thought I felt towel. Ah, there's a handrail there with a some sort of a towel on it. So that's the bathroom. And there's a wall here with and any light switches yet guys oh a chair and in front of the chair is a table a small square table with a second chair and ah a bench thing 
bench, bench, bench. Under which is quite probably a fridge and that. Ah, kettle. Is it a scary one with a big tip? Oh, no, it's not too bad. I don't think I'll be too terrified of pouring that kettle. Ah, another bench with a... Oh, that's cool. A microwave. And it's actually quite clean. And then in this corner here, we have a drapage, which is covering up a window. But I can't find, oh, hang on, hang on. Can you go that way or that way? That way. Up this. Ah, a blind. Is this a door? Or a... It's a door! Does it have two locks or just one? It's a door. Ooh. Okay. Nice to know. There's a door to the outside. And then... Up at the top of the bed, there's a, a bedside table, and there's the bed. I think it's a double bed. So that's the room. Certainly, um, it was called a budget room, and Look, it's very nice, and but uh, it's definitely like, I don't want to say it's really definitely budget and it's shocking, but it's like definitely, um, you know, it's, it's definitely nice and it's, but it's definitely a, you know, sort of a, it's your bed and your shower and it's not one of those you know sometimes you have a motel room that you're like oh i just want to hang out in here forever and oh just found a wardrobe i didn't know existed and like the one like the hotel i was at in my other holiday um to sydney i could have stayed in those rooms for um a long time but there's enough space like the bed between the bed and the wall here there's enough space that if I had Penny, I could put her mat there in front of the wardrobe and it would be okay. I'm going to go to the bathroom and then I'm going to investigate what's out that door. <laughs>